Hey everyone, hope you're having a great first day. Um, wanted to shoot a quick video. A lot of people have questions on what can I mix in my shake? So, giving you some ideas here. Um, what I want to do is kind of start with, uh, I guess, the basic ingredient. Water! You can also use uh, what we buy, some almond milk at Costco. But make sure you get unsweetened. Don't get anything sweetened. There's too much sugar in it. Uh, of course, uh, for those of you who like cow's milk, you can use cow's milk. We keep a little bit in the house. Um, some of the foundational things that I like to use uh, in my complete, what I like to do is keep a chocolate and vanilla handy in the house here. Um, just, I like variety. So, um, some of the things that you can do, we, we buy chia seeds, are always good for it. Flaxseed, it's great, kind of gives it that nutty taste to it. Um... PB2, you're probably seeing some of them posting about that. Mine's almost empty here. So um, basically what that is, is powdered peanut butter. So it takes the oils out of it, but it's great for mixing in shakes. Um, you can also get uh, almond butter. Some people like that. Uh, every once in a while, I'll throw in some cottage cheese. Um, bought this at Costco. I'm not super duper excited about it, but it's a vanilla flavor uh, hemp protein. So... Um, what I'm trying to do here, and I don't know if I showed you that or not, but Greek yogurt at Costco. Um, if you look, remember Dr. Andros talking about the latest research is what we want to do is get 30 grams per meal. Uh, two scoops of the complete here is 20. So ideally, guys, what we're looking for is, is to get another 10 from one of these sources. So and then what happens is it enhances the taste um, and gets you up to that 30 grams of protein and which will keep you full longer so um, and satisfied so um, yeah so the other thing I like to do is spinach man I love my spinach so I'll put spinach in there with the vanilla you know maybe add some uh, flaxseed in there and some chia seeds and just mix it up uh, and that's a breakfast one of the things that I really wanted to cover here and emphasize is the um, glycemic index which I know you guys all read Right, um, and if you look at, just kind of go through it and look at the foods. One of the things that we don't recommend for your shake in the morning is one of those little babies right there. The reason is that banana has the same glycemic index as spaghetti noodles. So when you think of spaghetti noodles, you think of carbohydrates, you think, think that kind of thing. The banana has the same impact on your blood sugar. So we don't want that in the first thing in the morning. So when we think of these protein shakes, we automatically think towards fruits and things like that. But try to pick more some of these varieties because they're not giving you blood sugar spikes. There's not a lot of carbohydrates. It's enhancing the protein value of your shake. So try to stick, stay away from that. We'll, we'll introduce more of the fruits later on um, as we go along. But um, So stick with some of these varieties. And guys, go through the glycemic index. I know the... If you, you know, I know you're all looking at this. You know, for instance, bananas do show up over here and the foods do enjoy. But right now, we want to avo avoid those fruits in our morning shakes. Okay. So anyways, um, what I do, I just wanted to show you some of this stuff. If you guys have any questions, most of the stuff you can get at Costco. Um, and then, you know, these yogurts come in three packs, three or four packs and stuff. So this stuff's not too expensive and it lasts a long time. So just kind of build this into your routine. We've just kind of been able to pick up stuff as time went on so it's not like we'll go out and buy all this at once but we just kind of keep it i like variety for me personally i don't like the same thing every single day so that's one of the reasons why i keep a vanilla and a chocolate here and um yeah so that's it you guys got any questions comment on the video here and i'll be here to answer them the other thing is it's good to have a magic bullet or some sort of a blender these blender cups are great just kind of shake it up they're great on the go and stuff but you'll get the best mix here uh, especially when you're adding things in there, make sure you have lots of water or liquid in there because it'll thicken up on you and it, you may not enjoy it as much. But guys, play with it and have fun. You're going to enjoy this journey. So lots of good stuff here. Anyways, hope you're having a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.